Hello and welcome to My Bolt EUV. This is Jim and we're going from point A to point B. Climb in. Let's go. Today we have a short episode. We're going to discuss the required maintenance from the owner's manual and my suggested maintenance actions based on my ownership of the Bolt EV and Bolt EUV over the past four years. We'll make it quick, so stick around. Before we get too deep into this, I want everyone to understand no matter what the General Motors or Chevy dealer tells you, you do not have to use General Motors or General Motors parts in your maintenance activities. The Magnuson Moss Warranty Act, also known as the MMWA, prevents manufacturers from using disclaimers on warranties in a misleading or unfair manner. That being said, I highly recommend that you only use the fluids provided to you by General Motors with the exception of windshield washer fluid and maybe brake fluid. In th those cases, you can use any brand you wish. I prefer Rain-X washer fluid and that's what I put in my cars and have for many years. Now let's talk a little bit about the required maintenance that is described in the owner's manual. First, each 7,500 miles or about 12,000 kilometers, you're required to rotate and balance the tires. If you're driving on rough or unimproved dirt and rock roads, I would recommend doing the service about every 3,750 miles or about 6,000 kilometers. There's also the requirement for a multi-point vehicle inspection. I have put an actual checklist together you can find in the description below a link to that checklist and you can download that and use it for yourself. Those items are the items that are listed in the owner's manual and some that are in the owner's manual are not necessarily for the Bolt EV slash EUV, it's just a General Motors generic checklist. So again, I've gleaned out those things that are specific to your electric vehicle. Every 22,500 miles or about 36,000 kilometers you have to do everything required at each of the 7,500 mile checks, plus they want you to replace the cabin air filter. If you happen to live in an exceptionally dusty location, you may want to do this more often, but for normal driving, you can get away with the 22,500 miles as required. And it will not violate your warranty to use a third party filter. The next thing is at each 100,000 miles, or about 161,000 kilometers, they want you to replace the lift lift gate support gas struts. I say push this out to 105,000 miles to coincide with the 7,500 mile intervals you're going to be using anyway. Then every 150,000 miles or every five years, whichever comes first, you're required to drain and refill the coolant circuits. And there are three circuits that we've already discussed in a previous video, but I'll talk about that more in just a few minutes. Then every five years, with no mileage requirement, you're required to replace the brake fluid, and I recommend you let GM do this, but you can use any brand of uh, brake fluid you want as long as it meets the specifications, again, without voiding the warranty. Then every seven years, again, no mileage requirement, you have to replace the air conditioning desiccant. Again, I recommend General Motors, but any qualified and trained AC mechanic should be able to handle this service with no problem. Again, I'm going to refer you to a checklist that I've provided a link to in the description below, and you can print this out and keep it as part of your records for the maintenance of the vehicle for the life of the vehicle. And just for the record, documentation is your key to warranty claims. If you can prove that you were taking proper care of your car, you will not have a problem with a warranty claim no matter where you have the maintenance work done. But if you're playing fast and loose and missing maintenance, you might back yourself into a corner should you ever need warranty actions. So when in doubt, take your car to the GM dealership for maintenance activities, but find a good one with a good reputation. I hope you find this information useful and helpful. I'll be back with more information in the future regarding my maintenance activities. I'm coming up on 15,000 miles within probably the next six weeks. 
So I'll let you know how that goes. I will be going back to a different dealership to have my maintenance taken care of. I'll be providing download links to additional information going forward and hopefully you'll find that information useful. I'll provide those links in future videos so be sure to check back. That about wraps up this week. I told you it'd be a short video. Remember, subscribe, share, comment, and like, and if you want to know when I upload something new, hit the notification bell. Also remember, treat everyone with kindness. Put a smile on your face, help someone today, and pay it forward when someone does the same for you. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you soon or somewhere along the route from point A to point B. Take it easy, everybody.